a championship for the, uh, for the Archibald family, but yourself as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I kind of expected it of Katie almost, yeah. and uh, she'll have a lot of pressure on coming to these championships as well. But I came in, um, you know, hoping for the best almost, and I'm yeah, totally overjoyed to came away with what I've got. One question I've got to ask is, is, is who kicked off the cycling bug thing? In the Archibald family? Uh, Katie definitely got into the racing first. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, we've done like family holidays abroad cycling and that kind of stuff uh, since we were young. But uh, she took it up in terms of dive straight into it. She's done cycle cross, she's done track racing, road racing, crits, you know, the lot. Um, whereas I've kind of followed a bit in her footsteps. But uh, she set it up and she's got that kind of attitude of willing to try anything. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot to learn from that, but yeah. Does, she, does it help motivate you as well? To try and, uh, I mean, you know, with Harry and Charlie, for example, a little rivalry going on between their brother and sister. Any rivalry? Um, <laughs> not really. It's, it's, it's so tough because um, she's at just another level. I mean, at world level, she's still dominant. I think uh, it's uh, something to look up to in that sense. But uh, the main thing is, even not, not just with what I find inspiring, it's what I find inspiring with all sports performances is, uh, or people that can raise the bar above what's been already set. So they'll not just win a race, they'll go, well, I've won that race, what's next? Yeah. And it's taking that step above. Um, and that's something that Katie's prepared to do. And, you know, some, people that look outside the box, like this KGF setup I've now become involved in, they're prepared to do that as well. Just look out and go, well, maybe there's another way to do this or a, a better way to still push it further. Well, you've joined this, this team that's made waves right around the world and you got in amongst it on the podium for the individual pursuit. Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, that was my main aim coming into the championships was do a good time in the, team, in the individual pursuit because it's the one I can control if I'm prepared for it and I execute that's one that I've got no excuses for and uh, having Harry uh, sorry well Harry as well but uh, Charlie and Dan there uh, doing what they usually do you know what's up for grabs really um, so to get the bronze yeah I was really pleased with that surprised and pleased um, I thought that would be the end of it for me but yeah it carried on which was superb and where do your where do your ambitions lie within the sport? Um, primarily enjoyment. I mean, when I first got into it, I took I took it up from having that swimming background, yeah. and uh, I love my swimming, uh, and I just took it far too seriously for not being that great at it. Um, so I wanted to come into cycling with a fresh attitude of I'm enjoying it. If I get something out of it, superb. If I don't, you know what? It's just a hobby. Uh, so now it's getting to the stage where you know I win a British title, which is to me is from, the, from six months ago I'd gone crazy. Uh, so to now have that is a real boost and uh, uh, sort of moving towards hoping for Commonwealth Games and uh, open my eyes a bit into what, what might be possible, yeah. And following that, the road season then? Yeah, really looking forward to that because um, signing with a new team, uh, Rebel Pro Cycling, uh, the setup is something I've not experienced before. So normally it's, I've been in a team of uh, amateur guys, great friends, race well together. Provision? Uh, Provision Scotland, yeah. And um, so that setup was great, I learned a lot, but now I'm moving into a setup where everything's a lot more drilled and, and uh, seems a bit more uh, formulaic in terms of they, they know what they're doing and what they want to get from it. Um, so everyone's got the same understanding and I'm really looking forward to getting on the road with that with the riders I've got. So what, what are the ambitions besides trying to make the Comic Games team for, for Scotland? What are the ambitions this year? Yeah, well, the time trials are the first first thing. Um, so with the CTT Championships, I gave them a taste last year and I, I, got, I did some okay results, but I felt like I could have done better. So that would be our first protocol. But the main thing is, I went down last year and did some national A races and just got my head kicked in. So I want to go down there and make sure that I'm not soft and I can yeah. hang, I can hang in for these longer races and uh, see if I can, you know, hold my own down there a bit, uh, mix it with some of the road boys. Thank you very much, John. Yeah, no worries. Thank you.